Hi guys, it's Mike here, KS Bushcraft Down Under. I've retreated inside due to some domestic noise in the background. So on the top there we've got my Frost River Isle Royale Junior backpack. It's a good three day bushcrafting pack. It's pretty heavy and it's really well built. And below it is the Frost River Arrow Eco. It's sort of their day pack, okay? So 18 ounce canvas, leather straps, it's a little beast. Okay, it's got the roll top closure on top and available in two sizes. There's a 15 inch which is the width and a 12 inch. The 12 inch weighs in at 3.4 pounds, the 15 at 3.75, 22 litre volume. That doesn't include the side pockets and they'll easily handle a, a 40 ounce uh, clean canteen or a 30 ounce Nalogene weighs in at 1.7 kilos the factory straps are cotton and they're two, two and a quarter inches wide okay so we'll, we'll get into the features so if you're looking for a pack that will take you on a day hike take you to work I think this one's got a lot going for it and a really old timey classy look okay guys this little loop According to the website, I thought it was a, an ice axe loop, but it's not. Apparently it's for clipping on your push bike like. And these two here, which if it was an ice axe loop, would be that way orientated for the shaft of the ice axe, are uh, for storage. Leather, brass, riveted construction, everything about it just screams quality, it really does. So the pockets on the sides have snaps on them. So uh, that's them open. So this is a, a 40 ounce clean canteen with cup. So that just oceans in there and you can actually get one of these clips done up if you want to, if you're worried about it leaping out of your pack. So that's really cool. Now there's another pocket tucked in the back here. So to give you an idea, this is the Mora uh, Garberg, great bushcraft in knife. So that vanishes in there behind that. So that is brilliant storage. Cool. So this one I popped for the uh, the padded straps or other than the nylon ones, and I think that was a really good move. Because it just well it suits it anyway, but. It is comfortable to carry. So there again, triple stitched, riveted, leather straps, brass rings, grab handle. So that's all brilliant. So I'll pack it out a little bit so you can see inside. So I'll use this woolly mammoth wool blanket. It just fits in nice. The straps are a frost river. They uh, I use that on my uh, IOL Junior. Okay guys, I've rolled the top over and help you guys see inside. So it is slightly padded. We call this a laptop pack in here. So this is 15 inches wide. What it's a dead fit for is the, uh, the Thermarest Z light seat. So that's a bang fit in there. I think that'll be living in there from now on. It gives it a little bit more form. Okay, I'll try and get the camera in there for you. So there is slip pockets on both sides down here. The one on each side and a, a hanging zippered pocket. Should be really handy for car keys and stuff you want out of the way. 
in there. So that's cool. So I'll roll it up small, then we'll fill it out. Okay guys, there she is, like standing fully tall. So you could snap it together like that. I think I'll, if I'm rolling on the top, I don't think I'll bother with the snaps personally. But that gives you some idea. Tuck it in. So you got, I reckon this could definitely get away with it as a carry-on. So, if you were to roll it down to its sort of smallest, especially if you lost the, the canteen. that in, which is really sort of, I'd say a briefcase size, yeah. So I'll stuff it full. Okay guys, we've got that stuff full of gear. So in the bottom we've got the wool blanket, above that I've got my Australian Army Hoochie, which is a tarp. I've got my um, cook kit, the kettle, Trangia stove, folding one, spoon fork, I'll lay it all out in the end. <coughs> on the left hand side we've got a um, saw tucked in nicely out there, that's not going anywhere. 40 ounce canteen that side. It's still compact. What I think is the beauty of this, if you start off hiking in the morning and you've got a really like heavy duty coat or a giant wool uh, sweater like this Tad Gear one I have is you can take your gear off and put it in the pack and it'll, you've got room with an expansion does it so I'll I'll put this in the top and show you what I mean so, I'm still thinking about these snaps whether I'll actually use them all the time I think I'll just roll the top. So I got that there then. Now you could always stick things under these straps. And they'll age with the time. Now that jumper takes up a huge amount of room. And it's still a nice neat package. So I'm looking forward to getting this out and testing it guys. Okay guys, so all of that stuff came out of that bag. Everything you need for shelter, cover, combustion, it's all there. So if you were to change out the wool blanket from a more compact sleeping bag and a ground mat, you'd have no problems doing an overnighter with that volume. Not at all. But primarily I see it as a compact uh, day pack. So I think I might get another piece of firm or cut a flat piece of uh, yoga mat to add to that Z rest seat. So I could have multiple pieces to make a, uh, a sleeping mat with. But anyway, so far I'm really impressed. As soon as I get it out in the field, I'll give you some feedback on uh, how it carries. But so far, I'm very happy with it. Anyway guys, if this type of content helps you out and makes you make good decisions when you're making big purchases, don't forget to like and subscribe.